Good morning, kids, and good morning, parents, and happy Easter. It's great to be back with you this morning. Uh, I know that Easter might look a little different than what it has in the past. I know we're, we're used to, to gathering together at church, uh, maybe going to, to friends and family's house for, for dinner. But one thing that hasn't changed is that Jesus still rose from the grave, and that's something we can celebrate. Why can we celebrate? Because of Jesus' death on the cross for our sins, and because of his resurrection, that we can have new life. I'll explain more in a few minutes about the new life. But first, have you ever seen a new penny? A brand new penny is shiny, it's clean, it has no blemishes. But what happens over time with a penny? A used penny loses its shine, it's, it's dirty, it, it's, it has grime on it. What would happen if I tried to wash this penny, which is regular water? Would it come clean? Probably not. But I have some special ingredients here, and I'm going to see what I can do if I put this penny in this mixture. So today is Easter. This is a time that we reflect on everything that Jesus Christ did for us. Jesus lived a perfect, sinless life, but he was arrested and sentenced to die even though he hadn't done anything wrong. Jesus suffered on a cross for us and paid the price of our sins on that cross. He was buried and everything seemed to be over, but it wasn't. On the third day, Jesus rose from the grave. He's alive. Jesus was dead and buried, but he walked out of the tomb with a new life, eternal life. I want to read for you 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. It says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. I say new creation. When I say that, what do you think? It means that our old life, the one that was tarnished by sin, has been buried. And God gives us a new life, eternal life. When Jesus rose from the grave, he made it possible for us to have eternal life. Let's check on our penny. If I can get it out. It was old and dirty, but now it's, it's new, it's shiny, it's clean. And just like this special mixture made, this penny new, Jesus made it possible for us to bury our old lives and live an eternal life with Him through salvation. That's why we can celebrate this Easter. That God loved us so much that He sent His Son to die on a cross for us for our sins, and he rose again to give us a new life, an eternal life. So how do we get this eternal life? First, we have to realize that we are sinners. Romans 3.23 says that for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. There's a punishment for sin. Romans 6.23 says, for the wages of sin is death. But the next part says, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. See, the penalty for sin is death. But Christ paid our penalty. All we have to do is admit that we are sinners, that we are lost and in need of a Savior. And we have to, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and confess our sins. And Romans 10, 13 says, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. We can celebrate today because the works of Jesus on the cross and the resurrection. We can be forgiven of our sins and no longer separated from God. And we can have eternal life. I'm, I'm so thankful I get to celebrate 
Easter with you, even though I'm here and you're at home. We still serve a God who is, is risen from the grave. And I want to thank you. I want to pray. And if you would, just, just close your eyes and pray with me. Dear God, Lord, I want, to, I want to thank you for this day. God, I know that Easter does look different for us this year, God. But it's still the same because you still rose from that grave, God. You made it, it possible for us to, to have a life, an eternal life with you, God. God, I want to pray for, for all the moms and dads out there, Lord. I want to pray for all the kids, God. God, I pray, Lord, that you, you give them peace, Lord. Lord, I know you have control over, over this, this virus, God. God, I want to pray, Lord, that we just we put our trust in you, God. And know that, that you're still on your throne and you're still in control, Lord. But I want to thank you, and I do love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, and I'll, I'll see you next Sunday morning.